Okay, good evening, everyone. Sorry for the slight delay. Um, you can use the microphone available and raise your hands. That'd be great. Who would like to start? Can I nail that? Uh, Gareth, what was your take on that? Were you frustrated by what you saw or what was missing? Um, well, we didn't start the game well and... I've been in football for hmm, 35 years, and if you don't start games well, it's really difficult to pick it up. So um, we, we needed, of course, to show better quality with the ball, but also we were a bit stretched without it and a, a little bit um, disjointed in our pressing at times. Um, so we know not the level we would want to be at. We know not the level that we need to be at, but equally this group of players have been exceptional and I'm not going to start getting into their ribs too much about a performance like tonight. It's uh, uh, We made a few changes. We didn't hit the levels we'd like to have, but they managed to win the game and um, not not in the style we'd have liked for the supporters. But um, in the end, we've, uh, yeah, we, we, we've won comfortably um, as we should. Um, scored a lovely second goal, and I think there were some individual performances that were that were very positive. I thought Trent was uh, very, very good. Um, look, him and Phil in the first half were the two that looked like opening things up, and um, thought Mark Gurr, he had a very mature performance again. He's really growing uh, as an international footballer. And it was lovely to get Cole Palmer on and give him a feel of things. And I thought he looked really uh, very comfortable in the environment. Uh, hi, Gareth. Following on from those comments, you talked about, you, you know, earlier you said that you didn't extend yourselves, not at that level. Just kind of moving forward as you look towards the finals themselves, mm. is it a danger, is it a worry that with everything kind of secured now, top spot qualification, that that doesn't happen again and you need to be kind of on that top level going into the finals? Is, is it a, a worry and how do you counter that, please? No, it's not a worry because I think sometimes when players have so many matches, they almost self-regulate. I've been a player. Um, you know that there's a certain level you need to hit to beat Italy here. And you know that you don't have to hit that level to win today's game. And uh, although you would think that um, uh, everybody would be at the same level all the time. That's not that's not the reality of football. So uh, I've played in those matches myself, and um, there there are nights where subconsciously you you just do enough to win, and uh, I think that's a little bit where we were tonight. Sorry to follow. Well, we, we wouldn't be able to play against. Uh, you know, in March, the teams we've got in March, we we wouldn't be we wouldn't get away with it, and the the players just would have a different level of uh, motivation. This week was always going to be difficult. We've already qualified. Um, the players are in the middle of a load of matches. We're trying to look after a few physically with the team selection. So you're making changes that, had we needed to win tonight to qualify, might be different. So. Um, yeah, the whole week has been a little bit like that. Couldn't really get the players on the pitch till Wednesday, and um, as a consequence, we were we were flat. And uh, you know, I I accept that. That's um, th that's where we were. But I'm not going to get into the players about that. I know I know why. And um, they've won another game of football. It could have been by more. I'm not quite sure why the third was disallowed. But um, there there we are. Uh, Gareth, was Connor uh, Gallagher taken off with an injury? Or? No, I just wanted to change the shape a little bit. Um, Fick was on a yellow. Uh, I wanted to get Phil in as a 10 a little bit more. Uh, I was very happy with how Phil was playing from that side, but I thought Bakayo could do that role as well. And um, we weren't really able to link down that left, and we, we were hoping Phil might drift out there a little bit to be able to give Marcus a release pass and also... Uh, uh, to be able to to open that side of the pitch up a little bit, and the, the, um, the atmosphere in Macedonia will be different to what 
you've had in home matches. Are you, are you tempted to look at certain players in that atmosphere p p purely to see how they cope in, in a different mm. environment? Or? Well, a lot of our decision making is physical as much as anything at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a strange thing. Probably if you've still got to qualify, um, there's a different focus on the games and everybody's happy for their understands their players have got to play and you, you're not subconsciously thinking about um, should we you know should we be pushing players out for another game so yeah we need to look at where we are um, after this game in terms of any any knocks and bumps we've got some fresh players to come in we want to get the balance of the team right and then assess whether there are certain things we want to see um, and learn from Monday's night Monday night's game as well Hi Gareth, um, what was your view on the yellow card for Harry in the first half and also how you felt um, Jordan Henderson did? Did you feel he was up to speed tonight? Um, I thought that um, yeah, I thought the yellow was a bit harsh. Um, yeah, I, th I thought there was definitely contact from, from the goalkeeper. I thought that was pretty clear. Um, we were too stretched as a team, so I thought there was too much space for our midfield players to, to cover. And um, um, it meant that we weren't getting enough pressure on them. Um, and that meant that our centre-backs were in a race a lot of the time with balls in behind. So uh, I, I didn't like us as a team without the ball, and that made every individual's um, role more difficult. Um, Gareth, uh, first of all, what's the situation with Marcus Rashford? Has he picked up a knock? Uh, I think he's probably OK, but we just thought, given the nature of the collision, it, it was a chance to get Cole into the game. And, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't assessed too much, but I think he was OK when he came off. And just following on from the question about North Macedonia, you're all but assured of the top seed now. You've, you've, you've said that, self, that subconsciously the players maybe have let the foot off the gas a tiny bit. Um, what do you want to see from them in, in Skopje? And what are you expecting from the, the hosts? Well, we've, we've had a, a really good calendar year and um, we, want, we want to finish it well, simple as that. Um, we, we should be aiming to go, um, if we can, into the tournament unbeaten. We've got some tough games coming, coming ahead, but um, that, I mean, I mean that... I'm a bit loath to say that because then you start looking for draws when you, you want to go and win matches as well. So uh, I want to get the messaging right on that. But, um, you know, the, it, it's good for us to be away from Wembley again, uh, a, a challenging environment, because that's what we're going to be in um, next summer. Last question. Uh, Gareth, we have seen Foden in two positions today, uh, first on the right-hand side and then behind the striker. Where do you think he can provide more for the team? I think he can do either. Um, he, um, I, I thought his quality in the wide position was really good. Um, there'll be certain games where, as the 10, he can provide that link. Of course, we were missing two other 10s from, from the squad this time, so we've got options in that area of the pitch. But Phil is a, a, a lovely footballer and, um, um, you know, played an important... Uh, in, important part in, in most of our good good play tonight, really. Okay. We'll end it there. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you.